Greetings grapplers, welcome to Judo for Jiu Jitsu. My name is Larry Keith and this is Brian Powers. And today we're gonna to be showing a cross sleeve Ko Uchigari and follow up attack. Ko Uchigari with a cross sleeve uh, grip. So what we're doing here, let's turn this way first just to see the grip. So when we're in our standard grip here, one of the ways to get that cross grip is like I, I, like, I like to reach across, grab the bottom of the opponent's uh, cuff, and pop my elbow up and pull his grip down. Then from there, typically we're trying to arm drag, right, or get to a position where we can off balance our opponent. Oftentimes, in this jiu-jitsu posture right here, when I go to pull the opponent, he's not going to necessarily step forward with his rear leg. He's going to shuffle or try not to move at all, right? So we're going to move into our Koichigari off of that. So let's turn this direction. Up. So off of this, once I get the grip and I'm in here, Brian's got that low crouch stance, which means that his hips are a little bit behind his foot. So if I sweep his foot forward, it's easy to make him fall. I have a high collar grip. I clip. He falls. I follow with a knee cutter pass right away. Now I have control of this arm, I have him crossed over. A lot of times we'll look to get an underhook, but in this situation I'm, I'm gonna opt for a submission. So I'm gonna keep control of his arm, I thread my right arm under his head, I pull his head forward, I get my figure four, I sprawl and squeeze to get my, my uh, darts choke. So here again, in this position, I pop the grip loose, I got a hold of his sleeve, I look to pull him forward to get a reaction out of him, it's not going, so I shuffle in, clip, do my knee cut pass, go underneath his armpit, pull it, I pull his head towards me enough to where I can make a nice figure four on my biceps. I get that nice, nice grip on him, I squeeze, I sprawl, for the finish. So that's Koji Gari with a cross sleeve grip, from the takedown, we're moving right into our knee cut pass, and from the knee cut pass, we're moving directly into the Dars choke setup. Um, great option. It takes you from takedown to pass to submission. If you miss the submission, you're likely to get the takedown and the pass. Uh, great point, point scoring um, for jujitsu. So if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification tab so you don't miss any future videos. And remember, when you learn a technique, you know one technique. When you learn a concept, you know a thousand techniques. So until next time, we'll see you on the flip side.